I've been with Nadi for a few years now. She's been teaching me the sacred geometry. I love it. Um, very into meditation as well as um, Ayurveda. And I was mentioning that to some of the gals in my breakout room. So I've studied Ayurveda for 500 hours and it's had a lot to do with the chakras and the bringing the body, mind, spirit into balance. But I came to a bit of a crossroads um, in the fall because I could either continue on I'd already done 500 hours, but I could continue on to another 800 hour and my soul felt called, but my analytical mind said, gosh, what are you going to do with all of this? Um, so I was listening to a book on Audible called Psychic Pathway. And the woman, the author is telling us that when you want, uh, that we rely on our own strength a lot and that we should ask for signs, that we should ask um, when we have questions or like we need to make a decision, we should ask like, the energy and the higher beings around us and that we will be given the insights. So I'm driving to see my teacher to have a conversation that's going to define whether I go forward in the 800 hour or just not proceed. And as I'm driving into Portland, I come to the Ross Island bridge and I'm facing North. And all of a sudden I'd heard this message in the morning on the book. And then I asked, I said, I do rely on my own energy. I do want a sign. And then I'm at the Ross Island Bridge, I'm about to turn on, and I see these lights appear over the buildings in Portland. And I was just like, what? And I'm, I have worked downtown for years, and so I know what's there. And I said, the first thought that came to my mind was, is that a baseball stadium? Or is that like a billboard that's all lit up? But why would it be up so high? And uh, I have 2020 vision, and so I'm just, staring harder and what I realized is that so then I took a picture with my phone and I submitted this picture to this man who has a YouTube channel called Mr. BBB333 or something like that he's a guy that's all about these images so he put it on his show and he looked at it with different colored uh, lenses and some people were like that's amazing and other people were like it's a reflection of the guy's lights behind you and all this I know what I saw I wanted to take a picture um, there you go. Thank you, Zenka. Um, it was just, I believe that day at that time, I was shown something to confirm that I was on the right path. I ultimately went on to the 800 program. I'm in there now and um, it's all been life-changing for me. So yeah, thank you. 